Today, we're heading to Georgetown, a historic neighborhood in Northwest Washington, D.C. We're visiting with my friend Dakota Hines at the Fountain Inn. He has a cocktail on his menu called the Rebellious Old Fashioned. Let's go see what it's all about. My name is Dakota Hines of the Fountain Inn. Uh, I'm the bar director here at the Fountain Inn. We're going to be making the rebellious old fashioned. We're going to do one teaspoon of allspice tramp. One teaspoon of Madeira. One teaspoon of gold syrup. We're gonna have, uh, which is essentially a caramelized simple syrup with a touch of cornstarch added in there for a little bit more body and oomph within the old fashioned. And to add a little bit more perceived sweetness and less heat, overall, we're gonna add St. Louis brandy. King of Value Bourbon, Wild Turkey 101, one and a half ounces. Now we make all these ingredients in house. All Spice Dram is going to obviously feature rum. Our specific rum is going to be Flor de Cana and full, packed full of baking spices, primarily All Spice. Um, and the reason we do that uh, is to give it more of a warming feeling. Uh, this is a very low notes house overall. Uh, the warmness really fits the interior. And the reason we use Madeira in there, uh, Thomas Jefferson once said that no one can source a better bottle of Madeira than Suter's. Um, and the Fountain Inn is based off of Suter's Tavern as a whole. Uh, and it just really adds a nice, more so uh, funk added to it. Uh, gold syrup, caramelized, another add, added warmness overall rather than your standard simple syrup. Why not add a little bit more flavor? Brandy Louise, really killer. Uh, so you'll notice here there's multiple different liquors uh, and liqueurs or essentially meaning giving a little bit more of a rebellious feeling to it doesn't matter what you drink, or if you mix, or if you all that stuff mix. Um, it's really, if you drink your water and eat your food, you'll be okay. There you go, it's a rebellious old fashioned. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. So many ingredients. Uh, Dakota, I appreciate you, man. Of course. Yeah, this is uh, so. This is called the Rebellious Old Fashioned. Yeah. Now that's a that's a cocktail that that you didn't come up with that name. That's something that's, something that's historically that's a that's a cocktail or a form of an old fashioned. Or oh, actually, what you no, that, call it. We came up with that name. There's okay. a few different reasons. It comes all together. Um, so I mentioned Thomas Jefferson mm -hmm. uh, enjoying a bottle of Madeira at Suter's Tavern, which is what uh, the fountain name was also called. Um, and then we also want to bring it back to George Washington, who incited the Whiskey Rebellion. Yeah. Um, so that's the historical reason as well, too. Um, there's another reason as well. We're using rum, Madeira, brandy, um, and even messing with the simple syrup, if you want to go so far as that, yes. uh, to kind of show that uh, 
multiple liquors aren't going to make you sick. It's more so your drinking habits. And um, what exactly what is Madeira? Madeira is a uh, Portuguese fortified wine. It goes through a cooking okay. process, so it ends up being more shelf stable than say your vermouths or any sort oh, of uh, okay. uh, stuff like that. So it goes through that cooking process and it's just done. Um, super preserved. You could leave it in the window for a year and it won't change flavor. So a couple of things I noticed right off the bat. One, the color of it, right? Mm -hmm. It's um, almost a... I don't really want to say orangey, but it's kind of orangey in, mm -hmm. in color and, and no garnish. I don't think there was a garnish on my other cocktail when I came here. Do you guys use garnish? We uh, typically don't use garnishes unless there is a uh, solid flavor reason. If okay. That makes sense. So uh, we use foams, we use nutmeg. If something's going to add to the aromatics right. overall, yes. But as far as flowers go and um, orange peels and stuff like that. Yeah, we're not a tiki bar. Um, we like to really focus in on our spirits program, which is quite robust. We have about 300 different spirits uh he's right it's nice here <laughs> all right man no further ado this is the rebellious old-fashioned cheers brother cheers man cheers he so you batch this mm -hmm. oh, let me let me sit first then talk oh my god man the all-spice dram just like kind of so I got kind of like this um the syrup I, I I got this 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 flavor and then all of a sudden that the dram kind of shot up in the middle of all of that I'm a big allspice <laughs> person you know so that's that dram mm. This is so well balanced dude Thank you <laughs> God <laughs> with all these ingredients Man, that's nuts. This is on the menu. That's on the menu all this, the time. This is impressive. It's so many ingredients. You're not, there's, there's wild turkey 101 in this. All right, so first of all, y'all, there's a high proof whiskey in this and you have multiple spirits. Um, it's boozy, but it's not boozy at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, the sweetness of it is what what makes me really happy. Me really happy. I'm a big bourbon person. Um, dude, this is fantastic. This is so good, man. Thank you. Oh, buddy. How did I not see this when I came here last time? Hmm. So, oh. man, yeah, that's nice. This is this is nice. Impressive. Um, and the, the ice cube, look at this cube, so you can see right through the bottom of the glass mm -hmm. with this, with this uh, clear cube. So you're not an old-fashioned guy. I'm not an old-fashioned guy, no. Um, <laughs> uh, of all the cocktails uh, that are designed on this menu, this is the one that gave me the biggest headache. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's because of old-fashioned is, first of all, your whiskey. Um, and we didn't start off with Wild Turkey 101, and I won't mention who we did start off with. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to start with a great bourbon even if you were going to use so many different ingredients. Right. That's such a good thing that you mentioned. It's just like, it's, uh, and that's why I call it the king of value bourbon. It's it's really killer. The uh, absolute king. <laughs> Wild Turkey 101 is, I keep a bottle on my bar. It's a great bourbon. It's absolutely delicious. There's cereal grain notes. There's a big note of sweetness. It's um, something you'll taste something different in every day. You're not going to entirely bored of it. Um, at least I don't. Uh, mm -hmm. I know some people kind of get bored. Uh, just in general. Um, but I think it's a really killer one. And I think Brandy has a huge place in uh, old fashions because you get a little bit more perceived sweetness. And we're only putting a teaspoon in this whole thing um, per serving. So you're kind of just getting smoothing out the high proof while yeah. still adding more proof, um, yeah. not losing that. How about that? <laughs> How about, I'm going to soften your drink a little bit with more alcohol. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we did probably four or five renditions of the uh, Rebellious Old Fashioned, mm -hmm. um, primarily them starting off with it being mainly Madeira. And uh, people want bourbon in their old fashioned, period. Uh, we did probably 
authority, 40 people tasted it, and they were like, man, I just really want some bourbon. I was just gonna ask you that. How did you guys test that out? So you, you kind of tested it um, against your, your um, customers? Yeah, okay. um, during our soft openings and everything, we never put anything bad, but it's more about the the perceived of, is it an old fashioned? Yeah. Is it really an old fashioned? Right. Um, and you can play with old fashions, whatever you want, with a two spirit, spirit or fortified wine base um, and a syrup. Uh, but people ultimately still just want a bourbon old fashioned in a whiskey bar. We sat here when I came here and we talked about what is this this syrup? What, why do they call it? What is this? Cornstarch? Really? A little bit of cornstarch. A little starch. bit of cornstarch. It's uh, a little bit of body. Yeah, so typically gold syrup will be seen in a lot of English baking, um, but cornstarch is a, our addition to it. Um, we want to add a thickness overall uh, and just add body. So for our standard simple syrup, for our daiquiris, their air bubbles stay there longer. Mm. Um, for our old fashions, the sweetness doesn't uh, subside after after you've had it for 15 minutes. You right. know, you're not drinking, slugging these things down uh, by any means. And if you're having it for 15 minutes, I mean, that's a whole other issue. But you still have some body and some something to hold on to that sticks on your tongue. Um, now, I, I started to say earlier, you batch this, mm -hmm. right? So when someone orders this, you kind of just have a, you don't have to go through this whole process that you showed us on this show. Uh -huh. um, so, but you you crafted the cocktail for the for the show. However, what I'm drinking right now is batched. So, what does that do? That that the one that you made, you said you would have to start for 30, 30 more seconds to get the the, the the temperature down. Yeah. Or whatnot. So, what is that? What what does that serve? Like it being colder like this. Our particular um, ice is uh, just does not have a dimple. It has more surface area. So therefore, more surface area, less dilution time. Right. And uh, at the end of the day, we're not a craft cocktail bar. Um, and we want people who want cocktails uh, to also be able to discuss them and yeah. why we put the ingredients in there. So we do batching and we do a little bit of pre-dilution as well too. Never all the way. Um, we're doing probably like a third of what we're supposed to be doing. Wow. Uh, add a little bit of filtered water in there and then have everything set up and we can do batches of to 300 at once. Dude. This is something that sell, outsells everything on the menu by two times. This right here? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, so the next thing down would be the spring fizz, and that would be because, all right, well, we're not gonna get into the fizz. The spring <laughs> fizz is fantastic. There's two, you have two fizzes on the menu, right? No, so we have the syllabub, and then we have the spring fizz. Okay, I had the, the spring fizz is basically like a gin fizz. It's a quick gin fizz. A quick gin fizz. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. I will be back to talk to him about that because I, my mind was blown uh, on uh, about the cocktail. Well, we, this is all about the rebellious old fashioned. Yeah. We'll talk about the, the, that fizz another time. Dude, I am... Yeah, I almost don't want to, I mean, I don't plot through my cocktails anyway, but no. this is something you sit, you sit, you have conversation you, with whoever, whoever you're with, whoever you just met at the bar, this is the cocktail for that. It's going to be here for a while, it's going to stay cold, and it's not going to get extremely diluted sitting here with this ice cube in it. No, um, surface area is great. Yep, yep. So, the rebellious old-fashioned at Fountain, the Fountain Inn. The Fountain Inn. The Fountain Inn in Georgetown. Washington DC um, my man ask for Dakota if Dakota's not here I'm sure he has staff that can take care of <laughs> this cocktail for you it's all good but um, man I'm impressed man thank you thank you thank you cheers y'all that'll be good yeah that's crazy man I like this so much.